See how fast that comes up? Yeah, front. Okay, so we're gonna take that. Okay. We're gonna take the hammer and dump it. Okay, well, it's back on to my project again. Uh, we've all been seeing little bits and pieces, but now I get to focus on it. So I, I get to shop all by myself because my dad and all of my brothers are, are out to Moab with a uh, youth group. Hopefully they're gonna have some fun. They're gonna go raft the river and hit a couple trails. So, I mean, should be a good time. Bubbles. Yeah. You can hear it. I couldn't hear it from here, but I'll give me that phone. Get a video, better angle. But uh, I'm just gonna do a bunch of finish work while they're gone. Gonna get the inner fenders ready for paint, the fenders ready for paint, the doors. Um, hopefully, Kendall's gonna be here at some. He, he said that he got a shrinking hammer. So I might be able to, to fix my hood. Um, we'll see if that's even a possibility. I'll probably get some AC lines made, heater lines stuff. Got a little bit of a start on that. That's that's kind of goals for, for this weekend over these next couple days while they're all gone. Get, I'll get a bunch of stuff done. New day in the shop today. So yesterday, I got my inner fenders done. So this is the passenger side one that I fixed. So I fixed the rest right here on it. Cause this was all rotted out because there's a brace behind it. So there was just a bit of a low spot here where I welded on it. Um, I still need to drill the hole right here, actually. I filled in most of the low spot that was here. Just trying to keep the uh, plastic as thin as I can, just to make sure it's not gonna crack or nothing. And then right here, there were three holes. I'm not sure what my dad had mounted right here at one point. But anyway, so I welded those up and then covered that up to make it all smooth. And then there was a little bit of a, of a mess right here on the inner fender. There was a couple, couple spots there that I just decided I was gonna fill, call it a day. So the driver's side, was actually so it's actually a brand new inner fender so i didn't have to do any metal work or anything on that one i just took the da to it and scuffed up all the paint so we can put a better coat of paint on it because the paint that was on it was super thin but anyway i got it far enough in shipping so that was good and then today working on my tailgate 
Some of you might remember me fixing the bottom of it here. That was a bit of a project, but it turned out really, really good because the whole bottom of this was just pinholed and pretty thin. I've started to just do a little bit of filler work where my welds were. Again, just trying to keep the gorilla glaze thin on it as much as I can. I really don't care if it's wavy because the whole thing is pretty wavy, but I just don't want it to show where I, I welded at necessarily. So just, just lightly filling that in and getting ready for paint. While I'm here, I'll fill in some of these little gouges that are in it. Just try to make it smooth and see what I can do with some of up here. Because when I got the tailgate, it was actually like a V. And it did that. I don't know what had been set on it right there. It had to have had something heavy dropped on it. Because it was, it was just a V in the middle. It wasn't straight at all. So what I ended up doing was actually a, uh, I put a bottle jack under the, our motor home and had a big block of wood just spanning across the tailgate on the front, on the top side, and then had a piece of wood on either side on the bottom. And then I just pushed it down and I, I got it pretty, pretty straight. I mean, it's actually dang straight. Um, I did make a little bit of a mess of the front, kind of pushed it in where I had the main part of the bottle jack at, but I pulled most of that out, so I made that straight, but there was still a huge dip right there. Spent a ton of time on it, pulling it out, and I got it most of the way. It's gonna be a bit of a wave, just like everything else, but I think once I can throw just a little bit of filler on it, it'll be pretty nice. So that's the project for right now, is get the inside looking good, and then I can start on the outside of the tailgate and make that all nice. Ain't gonna bite it. Too much air in the tire. I'm gonna get down. Then wake him up. I help. No, we're not going down. Strong. I'm sitting like this. You wanna sit with me, Kenji? Okay, another new day. Yes, I've been at this for three days now. Well, anything can sound silly when you put it in that tone. I think I've got the tailgate all finished up. Let's see what my dad, Kendall, think of it. But I spent quite a bit of time on that. Learned a few things about uh, using filler and mud and things. Learned that uh, even if you think that the mud is going to fill some of the, the scratches that you have in the metal, just from grinding and things, you should um, still get those out because it, just, uh, it didn't fill any of them very good. So I had to take the filler off of a, of a few spots to fix that. Ah! But yeah, so then I got the, the driver's side fender in and I was just seeing what spots still needed some metal work. It's been so long since I've done anything with the fenders because I did all of this work with the rust and everything on them before I left on my mission. Well now it's been over three years since I, I fixed all the stuff on these. If you notice, th this spot was pretty well rusted out Put a new patch panel in right here. And that was really all the rust that this fender had. That was really pretty good. I guess you gotta get a little bit of a wave out right here. It's still there. I fixed this part of it up as good as I could. It's just gonna get a little bit of filler and it'll largely get covered up by the, uh, the blazer emblem right there. Really, there's just this one spot. I realized as I was feeling around on the fender that, it, that this whole part of the patch is high. I'm just gonna have to knock it down. The rest of it's really pretty good, I'm surprised. Now that I was Thinking about when I did it, I kind of overheated this part of the fender and made a bit of a mess of it. 
just kind of how learning of this stuff goes. Spent quite a bit of time on it. I, I did a really good job. Not to toot my own horn, but I feel like I did a really good job on the passenger side fender when I did it. The theory of hammer and dolly in uh, sheet metal, especially shrinking, yeah. when you hear that, that means you're stretching the metal. Okay. So, so if you hear, once you get to the, once you get to the tink, you got your metal flat. You're actually stretching the metal. So yeah. You're flattening the metal. So you don't ever want to hear that. Okay. That sharp tink. Okay. That means you're putting damage into the part. You're not. You're doing opposite of what we want it to do. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna take the take the torch. We don't need a lot of you don't need a lot of heat, but we need more than look like a propane torch. So so from experience, we got to figure out where we're gonna. Where we're gonna shrink. So, you want me to help you? Or? Um, no, nah, you're you're probably just gonna hand you the torch, probably. So we're gonna okay. take it and we're gonna heat it up. See how fast that comes up? Yeah, front. Okay, so we're gonna take that. Okay. We're gonna take the hammer. No. Draw the metal into the into the center of the. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna take a lot. Yeah, it's it's. So, bad. so but that's the idea of how we're gonna shrink this. Give our best effort. Yeah, see if the hood is even fixable. Oh yeah. It's already came better. in some. Well, that's already, good. It's already better. Cool. That's exciting, actually. So we're gonna put one. I don't know if you can see the way the metal is flexing. Yeah, I can. Are you thinking just kind of just just just, to, just a little bit more to the center where your finger was? Just from experience, we're gonna put one right there. Okay. Ooh, come on, it. We really. Really want it to come up and not down. Oh yeah, okay. Okay. And okay, now we got it to come up. 
Now we're gonna take a shrink, get the metal good and warm. Take the, take the shrinking hammer. And it flattens out the shrink pretty good when you do it, too. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. That's actually way better. It doesn't move three feet now. Right. <laughs> so bad. Yeah. Well, I... All right, let's see if we can get one. We want the shade to put it right there. Up. Before we can get the lows out, we gotta get it tight. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's but the, we're close, actually, surprisingly. Cool and tighten. Okay. Oh yeah. And okay, that brought that low up. Yeah. So now this is a little bit low here, but now. But it's reasonably tight. Yeah, it's it's coming. You ready to try one? Sure, I can. Right. Okay, I'm gonna film you. It's my turn to film you. Yeah. Okay, so we gotta figure out where we're gonna put it though. Yeah, we do. Okay. But it's not like moving around a bunch to make it easier. No, and we wanna we wanna keep our shrinks closer to the edge. Okay. Um, because if we go out and shrink that, we'll make a mess out of the whole panel. Cool. So if we can keep our shrinks to the outside edge of the panel, then this will come up. This is all low. Okay. But we'll be able to um, this this outer edge is always tighter you know okay. it's always easier to work next to next to the edge yeah that's true so we want to keep our shrinks towards the outside if we can okay but we need to go let's go with one about right there okay so then we just say right here yeah about right in there A little hotter. Yep. Until so you see it turn red. red. Okay, that's good. Okay. Now draw hammer underneath. Draw the metal towards the center. We gotta get the. Yeah, gotta no, get this the, is still way too big right here. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So now we need to find another spot for where are we gonna shrink our next. So we can kind of just. Yeah, that's good. 
it's way tighter. Yeah, it works. So when, so when you hit the hammer, you slide it towards the center? Yes, you want to draw the metal towards the shrink. Okay. So it's gonna yeah. get down. Just uh, kinda kinda make it make it do what you want it to do. So just it'll as soon as it starts to come up it'll you can Yep, and then heat it a little hotter. Yeah, it might not just gonna see it again. Yeah. So it gets red, it glows a little. There you go, that's funny. Yeah. Can feel terrible till you cool it. It, it does. Too. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you got a huge mountain in the middle of your panel. Yeah. Well, how do we do? Better? Yeah, that's, that's getting better. Considerably better. We just need to work our way around. So just keep going this way or do you want to go along that side? Um probably gonna have to go both directions. Well, let's go, let's go with one right here. Okay. Yeah, make sure that one comes up. That's <laughs> crazy, huh? <laughs> With the metal axe when you cool it and everything. Yeah. Well, this is going to be a bugger. Yeah. Right. That's um, what I was expecting. I was wondering yeah. if it was going to be repairable. So. Right. Um, really need to get this out right here. Okay. So do we just need to put a shrink in right here? Um, super low or let's, uh, let's tap it up first. Okay. So. Tap, see if you can tap some of it up. So you use this, this hammer while I'm doing it, or? Yeah, yeah, you can. Let's see, it probably says it all the Okay, still pretty low right here. Yeah, go ahead and tap that up. Yeah. Just a little more force is what we needed. Yeah. It's still out there. Um, we need to put a shrink out there. Okay. Right there. That'll probably go down. <laughs> yep. Good.
Okay, so it's another day, but um, so with the other hood, me and Kendall decided that it just wasn't really fixable at that point. So it'll probably turn into a hood for Grizz. He's thinking about narrowing the front of it up, kind of being it in like Paul did. Not as much as he did, but it'd be a perfect hood for that, because then you'd be able to actually fix all of the metal that's been stretched in it. But anyway, so I got this hood. I'll have to show it from the top, but this one's super straight. Um, most of what that other hood was before we took it to get sandblasted, but let them learn. So the sheet metal's good. I've just got a few things in the actual top of the hood to fix. And then, so on this, so the hood hinges had been super, I guess neglected is maybe the good word for it, but they were bad. So yeah, I kept this as a template so I can fix this because I'm not sure exactly what happened. I might have like cross-threaded the bolt and then spun the insert and then managed to pull it out later. I don't know. But they ended up actually just having some self-drillers that was holding this onto the hood. So, anyway, I've got to fix this, but this is a good template as to where the bolt should be. And the hinge was totally junk, so I just cut it up. So that's what I saved this for, is as a guide that way. But so what I'm just going to do is I'm going to cut this section out. Just weld the new section in with the bolt welded down to it. I think it'll be way better and honestly easier to fix than this is going to be because it's so hashed. Anyway, so just take, took some measurements from this side of this distance, like an inch and a quarter from like the center of this bend to the center of the hole. And then I have this to measure front to back. Just getting on fixing that and then take a couple vents out of the top, DA it really good and a little bit of mud and it should be ready to go. Way easier to fix than the other hood, but I did learn some things. So that was cool. Ba -la 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 -la. Enjoying your peanut butter and jelly? Mm. <laughs> your comfort food? I always love a good peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> I'm like three again. Kaden, it looks good. Got the hood all stripped. I just gotta get some of the dents out of it. Been working on some of the smaller ones. So, like these were five. Still got a little bit to do on this. Um, this is gonna be the next challenge, though, here in a minute. Even getting that dent out. Um, Got to work a little bit of it up and then you can probably just shrink it like what me and Kendall were doing on the other hood to get that out. So, because if I try and do it any other way, it's going to be a huge mess. Yeah, all in all, it's really pretty straight. So, I fixed, I already fixed the spot underneath where the hood hinge had pulled the nut out. And yeah, I think once this is done and fix the other couple spots. Should be good to go. That takes care of it for this week. Till next time, remember, you're never too old, you're never too young to learn something new. So don't be afraid to get out there, try something different, maybe discover a new talent you didn't know you had. Thanks for watching.